It's a triple threat matchup where anything can happen. It's anybody's ball game, and the most prestigious gold in the industry is on the line. One champion, two challengers, one pinfall or submission to a decision. No countouts or disqualifications. It is game on here at No Mercy. AJ Styles has got Knight in position. Styles Clash! Rolls him over to the pinfall, but CM Punk with a kick right to the chest. Now CM Punk with AJ Styles in his horizons. Go to sleep on the phenomenal one. LA Knight's down. Styles may be out. Not just yet. Kick out. But it's nights like tonight where you shake off the cobwebs and continue to fight. Styles with a chair. LA Knight with a chair. One to CM Punk's dome. Swing it for the fences. And it's the phenomenal one who strikes. Punk is out. LA Knight may be out. And to the chair to the dome. Oh my God, he got him! After being dropped with the Styles Clash, not once but twice on Raw, that has got to sting that much more. CM Punk not even involved in the equation. A shocking turn of events here at the Bell Center as the phenomenal AJ Styles is once again on top of the mountain as your new WWE Champion. And 48 hours later, the former WWE Champion CM Punk is OC hunting. Carl Anderson will meet Punk in the middle of the squared circle right here tonight in Toronto on Monday Night Raw. This Saturday at Queen of the Ring, the triple threat matchup for the WWE Women's Championship is on hand. But right here tonight in the six, the EST, Bianca Belair, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Women's Champion of the WWE, Tora Jade. Jade cashed in on Bianca last month at SummerSlam. These two collide ahead of Saturday's Queen of the Ring, right here tonight in the Scotiabank Arena on Monday Night Raw. And hot off the heels of No Mercy. Unfortunately, the Intercontinental Championship still remains with that dirty little bastard Dominic Mysterio. Somehow finding a way to defeat Sami Zayn in his hometown of Montreal just 48 hours ago. A great contest where we unfortunately have to give the devil his due. Well, after three collisions throughout 2024, Dirty Dom and Sami Zayn certainly showing this past Saturday that they knew each other's playbooks very well. Sami Zayn had to dig deep down the bag of tricks, but in the end, it was Dominic Mysterio pulling out a hat trick of maneuvers, the 619 followed by the halo, followed by the exclamation point that was this frog splash putting away Sami Zayn and his hopes of winning the Intercontinental title. An unfortunate night in his hometown of Montreal for Sami Zayn, but the Intercontinental Champion Dirty Dominic Mysterio now moves on. The A-list superstar The Miz knows all about the Intercontinental title. It's been some time since this man has seen success on Raw. Maybe tonight, any given Monday, is where he turns that momentum around. Well, so much action on hand tonight in the six, including this monstrous collision as the Nigerian giant Omos is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. Reinforce the ring. Toronto may come crashing down by the end of Monday Night Raw. 
Braun Strowman and Omos set the lock horns later tonight. As we are hot off the heels of no mercy, we are live and in living color from a sold out Saskatchewan Bank Arena here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. The Intercontinental Champion, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, one on one with The Miz, kicking things off tonight as we approach the live season premiere of Monday Night Raw just two weeks from tonight. It is going down Monday, September the 30th from the Allstate Arena in Chicago, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Dominic Mysterio hot out of the gate on the A-list superstar, man who knows all about the Intercontinental Championship. Several reigns throughout the career of The Miz, but it's been well documented the unsuccessful year and maybe even change that The Miz has had. Hell, is that around this time last year, Miz was on the big verge of a losing streak. Eventually was able to crack it and just kind of fell right back down the well. Dominic Mysterio certainly soaking in the pageantry of his own actions. The Miz is not interested in being a stepping stone in this young superstar's career. As we mentioned, any given Monday is where The Miz can turn it around. So far, it's not looking too hot. The last time we saw The Miz in action was just a few weeks ago at WWE Live over, over in Edmonton, Alberta. One-on-one -on -one with a man he has had been at odds with all summer long in the King of Strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. That no disqualifications matchup. Nakamura was the victor on that night. And now The Miz... Trying to find his footing again on Monday Night Raw as he sends Dirty Dom to the outside. Pair of boots right to the ugly... Well, that's a little bit mean. Ugly face, we'll say it, of Dirty Dominic Mysterio. The Miz all kinds of fired up here at the Scotiabank Arena tonight. You know, we try to hold our punches against Dirty Dom, but it's pretty hard being the kind of guy he is. Unfortunately, retaining the Intercontinental Championship this past Saturday night. As we mentioned, you kind of have to give the devil his due. Rhea Ripley, of course, in the corner of Dirty Dom. She got involved once or twice. It certainly was a more even playing field as Kevin Owens, emerging for the first time since SummerSlam, accompanied Sami Zayn in his corner. But at the end of the day, no matter what old tricks Sami Zayn had to bring to the table, it was Dirty Dominic Mysterio who just found a way to win. Back inside the ring we go, and outside the ring goes The Miz, the Intercontinental Champion, certainly looking to wrestle his style of matchup. If Dom's going to win this matchup via countout, I don't think he cares, as long as Dominic Mysterio gets the victory. Three. Referees at a count of three right now, make that four. Dominic is just playing defense as The Miz is trying to think on his feet, literally, and put together a new blueprint. Oh, there's Dom! Might have caught some of referee John Cone there. Might have slipped on an imaginary banana peels. Dominic Mysterio now bringing The Miz into the corner. And The Miz had a little bit of a fury moments ago in this matchup, but unfortunately, Dominic Mysterio is... Wait a minute. The street champ, Solo Sokoa, is here. Well, you remember, Dominic Mysterio cost Solo that matchup against Damian Priest just a few weeks ago on Raw. Solo Sokoa now taking the eye off the ball of the Intercontinental Champion. Wait a minute. Skull crushing finale by The Miz. Into the cover he goes. Miz just knocked off the Intercontinental Champion. Thanks to a little assistance by Solo. An eye for an eye. Dirty Dom calls Solo. Solo just calls the Intercontinental Champion. And The Miz is reaping the rewards. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way live on Saturday night, October 19th from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel membership proudly present WWE Bad Blood.
This past Saturday night in the Bell Center in Montreal, we witnessed a high stakes, high reward main event. Tables, ladders, and chairs as the Judgment Day defended their World Tag Team titles against the Usos jobs, their livelihoods, right here on Monday Night Raw. Well, this tandem war has been going on damn near all year long, and Saturday night certainly showed the chaos that it has been. Destruction all around the ring, and even outside of it. It looked like a human demolition derby out there, and in the end, the Judgment Day retained their tag team titles, ultimately banishing Jay and Jimmy of the Usos from Monday Night Raw. Well, yesterday afternoon, the Archer of Infamy himself took to X and had this to say. I beat Solo weeks ago. At no mercy, we rid roll the Usos for good. Now, it's time I take care of Roman Reigns. Show up to the season premiere and let's see who really sits at the head of the table. One half for the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest throwing out the gauntlet to the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. The question is now, is Roman Reigns gonna arrive at the season premiere of Raw two weeks from tonight. Certainly a developing story there. But we might want to reinforce the ring. Hell, reinforce the city, because two monsters are about to collide. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 the Nigerian Giant, Omos! That is one colossus individual, the Nigerian Giant, Omos. A man we have seen push his weight around for months on Monday Night Raw. But finally, on the Raw after SummerSlam, somebody stepped up. The returning monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman, who showed face for the first time since the month of February, and Braun Strowman is ready to give Omos a run for his money. Strowman victorious against one half of the Viking Raiders, Ivar, just a few weeks ago here on Raw. Omos literally staring eye to eye with Braun moments after the contest. Well, this is going to be one interesting collision, live and in living color, from Bank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And his opponent from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, that is one big son of a bitch! Braun Strowman marching down the aisle with one goal in mind to see who holds Dominion as the monster of Monday nights. I'll tell you what, Braun has been looking incredible ever since his Monday Night Raw return. Wait a minute, Omos in the ring and going after Braun before the bell even sounds. Well, there you go. Referee Rod Zapata calling for it. This matchup is underway. Omos trying to get the jump on what is looking like a pretty even matchup tonight on Raw. We saw Strowman do something we didn't think was possible. Manhandling Omos. He chokeslammed him straight through the announce table on the Raw after SummerSlam last month. We have replayed that clip time and time again. It still is absolutely earth shattering to watch. I don't think Omos is looking to see that same result tonight. Getting the jump on Braun Strowman, and he is all over the monster of all monsters in the early going of this contest. Omos looking to draw the line in the sand. Thinks Monday Night Raw only has room for one colossus individual. Omos has been tearing apart the roster. Much men much smaller than him month after month here on the red brand. All the while, Braun Strowman was resting and recuperating from nagging injuries. Braun is back. At least he was 100%. And I am sure he is not feeling like it right now as Omos has been on his tail. Oh man, go for a suplex or just slamming Braun right down. And that is the kind of meeting that we are in for tonight. 
No normal individual is going to do that to Braun Strowman, but Omos literally is built different. Oh my goodness, look at the ragdolling of the monster. Dare I say, we could be in for the destruction of Braun Strowman right here tonight in the six. Never count out Braun Strowman, a man who's held championship gold in the past and is not looking to see the war he started with Omos not go his way. Oh my goodness, that might be the biggest bear hug I've ever seen. Omos looking like a teeter-totter on Braun Strowman. The Nigerian giant begging out for mercy. War 48 hours after no mercy and Braun still showing none of it. Omos just trying to create some distance on Braun. That he does momentarily. Looked like he was going for a choke slam. Braun Strowman, my goodness. Tossing him around like last week's garbage. Omos looking up at the lights. A very rare occurrence. The Nigerian giant once again. Not trying to allow Braun Strowman to get any sustained momentum in this matchup. It just levels him with a lariat. Moss all over the big man. Braun starting to look worse for wear. And now here we go. Go for the choke slam once more. But again, Braun Strowman creates distance. And now Moss hoisted on the shoulders. And a power slam by the monster. Braun Strowman started a fight. And he finished it with emphatic force here tonight. Omos is going to think about the next time he picks on someone much smaller than him. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on velocity competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else scan the qr code follow on tiktok and don't miss a second of velocity Well, moments ago, we saw a collision of monsters, and it was another scary sight this past Saturday at No Mercy, as Akim and Rezar, the authors of pain, took on the men calling themselves the Wolf Dogs, Baron Corbin, and Mr. Money in the Bank, Braun Breaker. You want to talk about physical? Look no further than this tag team matchup. I have never seen Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker picked apart, yet still able to survive as much as they were in this matchup. Some amazing double team offense out of Mr. Money in the Bank and Corbin himself, leading to an ultimate victory over the Authors of Pain. A win that has not sat well with Akim and Razor. They threw out the challenge earlier today. The Wolf Dogs not hesitating to accept. The rematch is on, live next week on Raw. Akam and Razar want another go around. Are the Wolf Dogs getting into a fight that they can't handle? All remains to be seen. There's always a game plan with Akam Razar, Paul Ellering, and of course, Karrion Cross. Live this Saturday at Madison Square Garden is the triple threat matchup for the WWE Women's Championship. From Rhea Ripley to Bianca Belair to Cora Jade, the title went last month at SummerSlam. It is any woman's ball game with the bell sounds in the world's most famous arena live this Saturday night. The EST Bianca Belair has scratched and clawed her way back to the top of the mountain, dethroning Rhea Ripley back at SummerSlam in August. But a weakened Bianca Belair was the unfortunate casualty to a Money in the Bank cash in by Cora Jade. And like it or not, 
Sakura played her cards correct and now finds herself sitting at the top of the Raw Kingdom. And from Chicago, Illinois, the WWE Women's Champion, Cora Jade. We want to take you back to just a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw when Cora Jade was ambushed by the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Rhea doesn't give a damn if it's Cora or if it's Bianca. Whoever holds the gold has got a target on their back. We saw two weeks ago Rhea and Bianca staring eye to eye and Cora Jade was out for a little bit of retribution. A sneak attack for a sneak attack. Rhea dropped Cora with her own gold. Cora dropped Rhea right on the top of the entranceway, certainly knocking her lights out for a few moments. All that anarchy gonna come to a head in the triple threat matchup on Saturday night at Queen of the Ring. The bell has sounded here tonight in Toronto and the EST hot out of the gate. Bianca victorious two weeks ago over Mead Chin in a physical matchup here on Monday Night Raw. Bianca not looking to see that momentum go to the wayside tonight against the champion. Queen of the Ring going to be live this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. And three top dogs from Monday Night Raw, Cora Jade, Bianca Belair, and Rhea Ripley, all with their different paths, but they all conclude in the same location on Saturday night with only one woman leaving with the gold. You know, we saw what happened just 48 hours ago to one CM Punk, the former WWE champion, losing his title without even being pinned. AJ Styles pinning LA Knight to win the title. Cora Jade could have that same situation come this Saturday. All remains to be seen, but I'll tell you what, right now, Cora Jade has just got to be thinking, how the hell do I survive this onslaught from Bianca here tonight? Bianca has been red hot. Since that bell sounded just a few moments ago. Now I'm sure there's a level of respect between Cora and Bianca, but I'm sure at the same time, Bianca is feeling a sting that is left over since SummerSlam last month. On top of the world for just a few moments, winning the WWE Women's title. And Cora Jade played by the rules of the Money in the Bank, cashing it in when she saw the most opportune time. Cora Jade not bending any rules, just following them to cash in that briefcase. Bianca Belair just the unfortunate casualty on that night. All remains to be seen what's going to happen on Saturday when three women who held the title at one moment in time in Ford Field last month enter the hallowed halls of MSG. Meanwhile, Cora Jade has flipped the switch, and we are seeing why right now Cora has really bursted on the scene on Monday Night Raw in 2024. Herself, along with SmackDown's Roxanne Perez, were a part of the red brand all throughout 2023, neither really seeing much success. But 2024 has clearly benefited both women as they sit atop their respective brands as champions. Bianca Belair doesn't give a damn who's the champ and who's not at the current moment. She wants one thing, and that is victory. On the same accord, it'd be a huge feather in the cap of the EST if she can pin the shoulders of the WWE Women's Champion just days before the bell sounds and the title's on the line in New York City. Roy Jade, of course, not looking to allow that. Trying to show some grit and glory here. Nice head scissors takedown. Bianca sent to the outside. And Cora Jade, full head of steam. Bianca cuts her off with another spear. Oh, but Cora with a nice tackle. Certainly a tooth and nail collision between a champion and a challenger. And Cora now all over Bianca, just as she wanted here at ringside. Certainly an opportunity for the Nightmare Rhea Ripley to do one final scouting report. And her two opponents come Saturday. Seeing the lengths these women are willing to travel just in the means of victory tonight on Raw. Imagine what it's going to be like with the bell sounds in Madison Square Garden. Bianca hustling up back inside the ring. Trying to take down Cora. Didn't get all of it. But Bianca's starting to come unglued. Some fury out of the EST. Hell bent on getting back the women's championship. 
Now it was a two-year gap between singles gold for Bianca from SummerSlam 2022 to SummerSlam 2024. And to have that taken away within mere moments has had to lit a fire like no, never before under the EST. Bianca going to have a chance to right that SummerSlam wrong come Saturday, but Cora Jade not looking to allow Bianca to get any more momentum on her side. Bianca with another reversal. There is the strength and the power of one of Cora's challengers. And it's been a great matchup thus far. We are seeing the determination out of these two women. Get that momentum on a silver platter before the Queen of the Ring event. Oh no, Cora Jade sent to the outside. Bianca going skyward on the WWE Women's Champion. And Toronto has come unglued. The Women's Champion Cora Jade is looking rocked. And Bianca's not done. Face first on the outside goes the champ. You think Bianca Belair is fired up and ready for Saturday night? Cora sent back inside the ring. Bianca Belair's wheels are a spinning. Cora's in prime position. K.O.D. by the EST. What a victory for Bianca Belair. Bianca pinning the shoulders of the women's champion days before. Oh, wait a minute. Rhea Ripley's out here. Rhea Ripley now going after Cora Jade. Bianca back in the ring. Getting her some of the nightmare. Rhea Bloody Ripley days before the bell sounds and it's a triple threat on Saturday night. Respect between the WWE Women's Champion and the woman who just knocked her off here on Monday Night Raw. Cora better go back to the drawing board. She's in for the fight of her life come Saturday with a game Bianca Belair and a hell-bent Rhea Ripley. It's a triple threat at the Queen of the Ring. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. It's a better time than any to become a Nation Gaming channel member. Saturday night, October the 12th. Saturday night, October the 26th. Witness the exclusive Halloween Havoc events. Hit the join button down below or the link up in the cards. Become a No Nation Gaming channel member today and don't miss out on Halloween Havoc. Last week in Winnipeg, Sami Zayn knocked off one half of the world tag team champions in Finn Balor. The Judgment Day may have been successful at no mercy, but Balor is still reeling from that loss. He wants Sami Zayn in a rematch, and it goes down next week on Raw.
And who is going to be next in line to challenge Dirty Dominic Mysterio for the Intercontinental Championship? It'll be determined in the most monstrous of ways. A number one contender's gauntlet match next week as Karrion Cross, Shinsuke Nakamura, The Miz, Braun Strowman, Bronson Reed, and Solo Sokoa enter the gauntlet. Last man standing gets Dirty Dom. And going down live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time this Saturday night for the world's most famous arena in Madison Square Garden in New York City, the 2024 Queen of the Ring. As announced this past Saturday, Bailey and Becky Lynch are looking to finally get even with Piper Niven, Sonya Deville, and Chelsea Green. All of these women have been at odds for months here on Monday Night Raw. The question is who will stand alongside Bailey and Becky in this six woman tag? The WWE Women's Tag Team Championships are on the line. Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark has defeated Io Sky and Asuka in the past, but Io and Asuka have had their numbers as of late. What will happen when the tag team titles are on the line in MSG? From Friday Night SmackDown, the Women's World Championship is set to be defended. A personal battle for one LWO's Zelina Vega. She has defeated Roxanne Perez in singles action, but can she keep her down when the Women's World title is on the line? We saw the anarchy moments ago between these three women. Something's got to give. It's anyone's ball game as Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, and Cora Jade enter the triple threat matchup with only one woman able to leave as the WWE Women's Champion. Who will be the Queen of the Ring? First, in semi-final action from Friday Night SmackDown, the goddess Alexa Bliss takes on a woman who has taken 2024 by storm, Raquel Rodriguez. The winner of that matchup meets the winner of this contest from Monday Night Raw, former WWE Women's Champion Liv Morgan versus the center of the universe, Tiffany Stratton, who moves on to the main event finals. Who will be the inaugural queen of the ring? We find out live this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time from Madison Square Garden in New York City. But before we enter those hallowed halls on Saturday night, one more bell is to be sound. It's the Scotiabank Arena. And I got a feeling this man is in absolutely no mood tonight. The former WWE Champion. But gold or not, the song of his name still rings from arena to arena. The second city saint, CM Punk, knew exactly the kind of game he was getting ready to play this past Saturday at No Mercy. Entering a triple threat matchup as the WWE Champion, a match where he did not have to be pinned or made to submit to lose his gold. And unfortunately, that is exactly what happened for Mr. Punk. AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, has dropped CM Punk not once but twice in the lead up to no mercy with styles clashes i am sure punk was out to shut aj styles lights off on saturday night unfortunately styles pitting the megastar la night to win the wwe title that was then this is now we move forward and as we sit at the top of the hour cm punk is here in toronto and he's OC headhunting. Carl Anderson steps up to the plate. Anderson and Gallows are going to take care of CM Punk once and for all here tonight on Raw. And his opponent, accompanied by Luke Gallows, representing the O. By way of Tokyo, Japan, 
Weighing in at 213 pounds, Carl Anderson. Ahead of Queen of the Ring on Saturday night, we make a pit stop on TikTok for Velocity as the women's world champion Roxanne Perez is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Indy Hartwell. That is going down this Wednesday afternoon only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. The OC's Carl Anderson, the machine gun, stepping up to the plate to take on the second city saint, CM Punk. It does not take a rocket scientist to figure out that CM Punk is going to want his opportunity to get back the gold he lost on Saturday. And as his name is chanted through the Scotiabank Arena, Carl Anderson is looking to put a stop to CM Punk's pursuit of the Phenomenal One's gold. Punk's got to go through Anderson and go through Gallows to get AJ Styles one-on-one, -on -one, then you best believe CM Punk will do it. We watched for months as CM Punk pulled whatever strings he needed to do to get his one-on-one -on -one matchup against Kevin Owens back at Money in the Bank for the WWE title. It obviously worked out in the Second City Saints' favor. But now Punk is back to the drawing board and forced to do what he does best, which is compete in between the ropes. Punk coming hot out of the gate. No time for collar and elbow tie-ups and wrist locks tonight. Punk is here in Toronto for a fight. Carl Anderson looking to meet Punk in the middle. Anderson no slouch in singles competition. This is a man who has held championships all around the globe, especially in Japan for many years. Now the machine gun of the OC. Looking to put CM Punk to sleep tonight. How apropos would that be? Punk has obviously got different intentions. Springboard and down goes Anderson. Tell you what, you take the personal struggle out of this, and this is two fantastic wrestlers competing inside a Monday Night Raw ring. This is a wrestling fan's dream, if you ask me. CM Punk obviously with a personal intention in mind of getting back his WWE title, and Carl Anderson looking to do one good by AJ Styles. My goodness. What a fall away neck breaker. The precision for Anderson to deliver that maneuver from the top to the outside. You got to give credit where it's due. Of course, Anderson and Gallows just fallen short to the tandem of CM Punk and LA Knight two weeks ago here on Raw. Of course, moments later, Punk was dropped with a blood force trauma by the megastar. Punk tried to handle that last week here on Raw. One-on-one -on -one with LA Knight in the main event. AJ Styles playing spoiler. Punk the winner by disqualification. And Punk stacking up the offense on Carl Anderson. And I am sure he is hoping that AJ Styles is watching this with eyes wide open. A triple threat and the chaos that it brings is one scenario. But CM Punk one-on-one -on -one from bell to bell. A completely different animal. I think that is what Punk is out to prove here tonight on Raw. I'll go through Carl Anderson. I'll fight Luke Gallows. Whatever I got to do. But count your days, AJ Styles, because CM Punk's coming for you. That's got to be the mindset of the best in the world tonight. Carl Anderson, as we mentioned, no slouch. It's not going to leave any stone unturned in his attempt to take down CM Punk this evening. Queen of the Ring, as we mentioned, live this Saturday night. Hold that thought. No time for a rundown. Anderson with a spy buster on Punk. And I believe referee John Cohn a little out of position there. But CM Punk gets the shoulder up nonetheless. Luke Gallows trying his tricks. And it almost came back to haunt his own tag team partner. Well, as we are about to mention, Queen of the Ring live this Saturday. Of course, we are also on the road to Raw season premiere. We got a pit stop next week with a stacked evening of action as we have talked about all night long. And there's Punk muscling down Anderson. Nice reversal that time. And on top pace to a seat to the outside. Oh, but there's Luke Gallows. Punk unfortunately ran right into enemy territory and the big LG gonna do anything he's gotta do to take down a man who was once his for former mentor many years ago. Momentarily 
Distracted, and now Carl Anderson gonna take the most advantage. Sending Punk into those diamond-plated steps, and now back inside the squared circle we go. Next week on Raw, Sami Zayn sets to go one-on-one -on -one with the Prince Finn Balor. Wolf Dogs in the ring with the AOP, no mercy rematch. And what about that stacked six-man gauntlet matchup to determine the dirty Dominic Mysterio's number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship? It's all coming your way live next week on Monday Night Raw as Carl Anderson is now in control over the former WWE Champion. CM Punk took his eye off the ball at ringside as he flew right into the OC's territory and clearly he is paying for it. Punk down and out and Anderson gonna follow him. It may not have been the best idea. Punk might have been lying in wait. And now it's Anderson set to the barricade. And rushing leg sweep again. Within a matter of a moment, the best in the world finds a way to get back in the driver's seat. Anderson might have sent Punk out of the ring, but now it's Punk Sand and Anderson inside, not by will, but by force. Springboard. Oh man, crash and burn. CM Punk was on the verge of turning these entire tables here in the Monday Night Raw main event. But Carl Anderson did his homework. On top we go. Punk just trying to dust himself off after that crash and burn moments ago. And there's Anderson eating the turnbuckles. Oh, wait a minute. Once again, CM Punk's going to wrestle this matchup on the other half of the ring because Luke Gallows is going to do all he can to be an X-Factor here. And there it is. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum is starting to swing between Carl Anderson and CM Punk. And Luke Gallows has a lot to do with it. Another reversal. In the corner he goes. CM Punk now hot on the machine gun's tail. We'll be looking for a little Frankensteiner here in the six. And now scale in the opposite corner. Anderson, dead center of the ring. Elbow to the heart. Same maneuver that pinned the big LG Luke Gallows two weeks ago in tag team action. The Punk isn't looking for the victory just yet. I think CM Punk is looking to put an exclamation point on this matchup. But did he get overzealous? Arl Anderson able to sidestep that elbow drop by CM Punk. Punk might have wanted just a little too much out of that pound of flesh that time. Now Anderson sent right into the post. Carl Anderson's gonna feel that knee on Tuesday morning. CM Punk still not going for a pinfall just yet. Punk is just beating down on the machine gun. And what has got to be hopes that AJ Styles is looking on. Wait a minute here, CM Punk taking out Luke Gallows with a tope suicide out of nowhere. Well, that's what Gallows gets for getting involved in this matchup time and time again. Sent right to the announce table, and now Punk back inside the ring. No Gallows peering over his shoulder. Anderson in trouble, going for a go to sleep. Reversal! Punk took his eye off the ball, gave Anderson a moment of R&R. &R. Going for a spine buster, it seemed. Not just yet. Punk off the sidestep. Back in the fireman's carry position. Go to sleep. Carl Anderson putting up a hell of a fight, but his lights were just turned off by the best in the world. CM Punk overcoming the numbers, marching through the machine gun Carl Anderson tonight all in hopes of getting his opportunity to meet the phenomenal AJ Styles, Mano Imano. Here is your winner. Oh, hold on a second. And speaking of the man himself, the new WWE Champion, AJ Styles, is here at the Scotiabank Arena. And looking like he's just playing some mind games with the former champ, knowing CM Punk is eager to get his hands on AJ Styles. And there's Luke Gallows from behind. Oh no, CM Punk wiped out 
by the big LG. Punk already going through. A back and forth physical matchup with Carl Anderson. Now once again, his eye is taken off the ball by an OC member and Luke Gallows gonna make him pay. AJ Styles gonna be grinning ear to ear as CM Punk disrespected and sent right out of the Monday Night Raw ring. Victory, but may not be looking like it. Wait a minute, hey, LA Knight out here now. BFT out of nowhere. The megastar making the save. Well, I'm sure LA Knight feels some type of way about being the man pinned on Saturday night. And although him and CM Punk have had respect and had their issues, tonight LA Knight coming to his save. Oh, CM Punk back into the ring. Punk does not give a damn. GTS to the megastar. LA Knight the reason CM Punk is not the champ today. Punk does not need anybody's help. The OC headhunting will continue and CM Punk is hell-bent on one-on-one -on -one action against AJ Styles.